Sure. Uh, so I have a question. So from America First perspective, why do we give $3.8 billion to Israel, which is more aid than we've given to Africa, more aid than we've given to South America, and more aid than we've given to the Caribbean combined, which is home to a billion poor people, especially when they deliberately attacked the USS Liberty in the 1970s. That is incorrect. Do not peddle they, conspiracy theories in our event. That is not acceptable. Do not say that. Okay, Dean Rusk disagrees with you, and he was the Secretary of State at the time. Cover-up started immediately. Want the truth to come out. What led up to it, what happened, and what's happened afterwards. I think this was suppressed because our government, the president and his group, wanted the liberty to be on the bottom of the ocean. There's no question. <laughs> It was a big cover-up uh, from the top on down. Actual recall came from uh, the president and the McNamara. And Lyndon Johnson came on, said he didn't give a damn if the ship sunk. He would not embarrass his allies. They didn't send us any aircraft because they weren't going to embarrass our ally Israel, our ally. Coming from Admiral Martin's mouth to my ears, I loaded four planes with nuclear warheads. We thought the Egyptians had attacked our ship. We launched 50-odd aircraft. Also, uh, several amphibious ships full of Marines. That meant going ashore. But uh, that's what the world really doesn't know today, and I think that's why we were sworn to secrecy, is how close we really came to a potential nuclear holocaust. We were six minutes from World War III. The U.S. dropped a nuclear warhead on Cairo. He was to immediately launch nuclear warheads against Israel. The Dome of the Rock was eliminated. You ever repeat one word about the USS Liberty and who did it to you, I guarantee you I'll see you in Leavenworth or worse. You know what worse means? I know we were betrayed in so many ways that it's hard to count them. The story of the liberty is not a who done it, it's a why did it. Israel uh, wants uh, the territory which they call Greater Israel or the Promised Land or whatever it is, and it isn't and wasn't the area that they occupied in 1967. I do know he falsified the deck logs. He was hiding something at the request of the Court of Inquiry. Look at that. Over 5,000 armored person bullets in this ship. I couldn't understand why they were cleaning the ship up. So much damage, what, what's the point? The men would bring the body pieces up to me, and I tried to put them together to make a body out of them. Sort of like a jigsaw puzzle. Oh, the dream I have is, is the singular dream I have, uh, is me being down in that room again, full of water with bodies floating by me, baseless bodies. How come me? I'm here and Spicer's there. He's gone, dead, forgotten, ripped to pieces. This is something that every American school child should know about, but they're being prevented from learning about it. If we didn't transmit anything. If we were sunk, nobody would have known that the Israelis attacked the ship. If my troops had known that the President of the United States was attempting to kill all of them, it might have been the first mutiny the Navy ever saw. How many human lives have been cost have been changed or, or, or killed protecting the Zion State of Israel.
Remember, the truth is out there waiting to be found. Wake up, take the red pill, join the red pill in the war. Break the matrix, free your mind. Take the red pill.